All right, today we're going to be looking at 10 Buffalo nickels uh, that sold for a lot of money, a lot more than five cents. So first up, we're looking at the 1913 Buffalo nickel. Now, there's two different types for this Buffalo nickel. So uh, here's an example of the, well, we're looking at the type two uh, first, but here's an example of the type one. You'll notice uh, there's not a line above the word five cents. It's like a raised ground there. But here on uh, the type two, you'll see that line, the very distinct line uh, kind of separating the five cents at the bottom of the coin on the reverse of the coin. All right, so for the type two, this coin here is graded by NGC at a mint state 65. So one, it's in very, very good condition, uh, and that's where the value comes from. 1913 with the S mint mark, you'll see that S mint mark at the bottom on the reverse underneath the words five cents. And uh, you'll see that it is the type two. This coin ended up selling for over $1,900. So nearly a $2,000 coin. Now, if you have this coin in worn down condition, of course, it's not going to sell for that price. Uh, but because it's in this grade at this condition, that's what gives a coin a lot of value. All right. So moving on here to a 1914 Buffalo nickel where the four is over the three. So you want to inspect your coins closely. Look for that four over the three. The coin is graded and authenticated by Annex at an AU50. And this coin ended up selling at auction for $720. Moving right along to a 1916 Buffalo nickel. We've looked at these nickels uh, you know, quite a few times. If you watch my 1916 Buffalo nickel video, I go more into depth on that. Uh, this coin has a double die obverse, so you really want to look for doubling there on the date. Here's a better example to look uh, to look at a coin in much better condition, but you can see that date extremely doubled, um, and you can look for doubling on other parts of the coin as well. Uh, but this coin has been acid treated, so that means that you know there was no date. It was hard to see. You'll notice on a lot of Buffalo nickel the date is worn off uh, but you can use a thing called naked date it's an acid that will reveal the date now I don't recommend using that on dates that you can actually see uh, but if you really don't have an option then you kind of got to use it and in this case it kind of worked out for them because they found out that it was an actual double die from 1916 which is crazy um, so the coin ended up selling for over $1,000, even though it's been acid treated, uh, but that will take away from the value of the coin. But again, it was really worth nothing, not knowing the date of the coin. So um, yeah, over $1,000 for that coin because of the doubling. But if it was in much better condition, it would sell for a lot more money than $1,000. Now here is a 1917S mint mark. Again, you'll see the S mint mark on the reverse at the bottom of the coin. This Buffalo nickel, again, is in great shape. It's graded at a mint state 64 by PCGS. So uh, in phenomenal shape for a coin, you know, over 100 years old. Uh, but what really makes this coin uh, extra valuable is the fact that it has two feathers instead of three. So you'll see the two long feathers and then uh, on this example and then you'll see that third little feather there well you'll notice on this coin it's missing that third little feather right behind the neck um, so that's what you want to look for on your buffalo nickels even from other years not just 1917 this coin ended up selling for nearly two thousand dollars at auction because of uh, it only having two feathers and because of its grade, which is its condition. Now let's move on to a 1918 Buffalo nickel in not very great condition, only graded at a VG8. Uh, this coin has an eight over the seven. So here's an example of what that looks like on a much better condition coin. You can clearly see that seven underneath the eight. Um, so that will give the coin a lot of value. And this coin ended up selling for over $1,400. $1,400. Moving right along to a 1926 Buffalo nickel with the S mint mark. So this is a key date coin to look for. Um, you know, feel free to watch my other Buffalo nickel videos to show you more key date coins. It does have the S mint mark again on the reverse. It's from 1926. It's at an XF40. So it's not a high mint state grade, but the coin still sold for $720 because of the fact that they didn't produce a lot of these in comparison to other uh, dated Buffalo nickels. It's a key date coin and that's why it sold for $720. So if it was in a mint state grade, it would sell for thousands of dollars. Moving right along to a 1930 Buffalo nickel. This coin here has a doubled die reverse. Uh, so that's where a lot of the value will come from. You want to look for doubling there on the Buffalo's legs. 
Uh, this coin is also graded at a mint state 65. So again, that gives it a lot of value as well. And that's why the coin sold for $870. Next up is a coin that has been clean, but still sold for $930. You know, when you clean your coins, it will definitely devalue them. It takes away a lot of the value. So I stress uh, that a lot. Do not clean your coins. Uh, but the reason that this coin is valuable is because the buffalo has three legs on the reverse of the coin. So you'll also see that the D mint mark is below five cents. So you want to look for a 1937 D. Uh, well, you can look for this on other dated coins as well. Uh, other buffalo nickels. But uh, this is a big one. 1937 D with uh, three legs so you'll see two back legs you'll see a front leg and then you'll see that other right front leg is missing there it's faded out and that is a three-legged buffalo nickel which will give the coin a lot of value collectors love uh, looking for the three-legged buffalo nickel so uh, even though it's been cleaned still nearly a thousand dollar coin had it not been cleaned you're talking a lot more money now here's a 1938 buffalo nickel that has a d over an s mint mark here's exactly what that looks like so you can see that s mint mark there underneath the d mint mark now that's where you inspect your coins very very closely uh, with your coin microscopes coin loops i have those available through my amazon affiliate link couch collectibles amazon affiliate i'll put that down in the description of this video uh, but yeah that's uh, one thing that will give the coin a lot of value and the fact that it is in very nice condition at a mint state 67 grade by PCGS. The coin sold for $690, so nearly a $700 coin. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Check out my other coin videos where we're showing you guys rare coins that are worth some really good money. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below this is couch collectibles and this is where i disappear